Hello everybody, this is Riku Keyblade Master back once again with another update. Um, the White House is working on a second bill, as I had stated before, but right now, according to Vice President Joe, um, not Joe Biden, excuse me, Mike Pence, who is also the head of the coronavirus issue, um, we still haven't, according to him, this is, this is his words, we still haven't gotten all of the kinks worked out yet. Obviously, if you are a millionaire or a billionaire, this does not apply to you. You are not going to be sent billions upon billions of checks. Um, the time period and the number of incomes are still being worked on. I'll get back to you as soon as those numbers are in. Now, um, the thing is, we would have been more prepared had Trump not shut down pandemic centers two years ago. Yes. Yeah, he did. He kicked out everyone in the pandemics department two years ago. According to an article from Newsy, he totally did that. And that was not the right move. He has not admitted to that being an irresponsible move. So like him. But he is stating that he is a war president. In other words, yes, this is a war He's saying this is definitely like a war. This is one of the worst ones we've ever fought yet. And that I do agree because we have lost millions upon billions of lives due to this pandemic. A pandemic which could have been... Now I know why we may be possibly behind due to testing. Wow. It's his fault. He shut down a pandemic center, multiple pandemic centers, two years into his presidency. Wow. Thinking that there wasn't going to be a pandemic and then not taking it seriously to start out with and then just now taking it seriously just because it could hurt his reelection chances. Which I already hear Florida, one of the major swing states, might fuck him over anyway. Because, uh, yeah, a lot of elderly are worried about, obviously not their well-being, but because they're ignoring advice of staying in and not gathering for more than 10 people. But... For their financial well-being, they're really ifed on that, and I would be too. I would be too, if I was them. In fact, I'm still ifed on it, because um, several issues still need to be addressed. Not only the financial issue in this, not only the economical issue in this, but the well-being of an individual citizen. They're saying, they said a long while back, the elderly are at higher risk for this. Well, now they're saying millennials, meaning people with disabilities, are at higher risk, which means even though I don't do anything major, I keep my distance, I'm still screwed. Okay? I'm more worried about, you know, my neighbor, because she said that she has a relative that is legally blind just like me. So, yeah. She knows how much of a fucking pain in the ass it is.
But yeah, the Dow Jones has been plummeting like a motherfucker due to the hardships of economical trades and everything. And they just shut down the U.S. and Canada borders. Now, I know a few of my subscribers are already in isolated quarantine. My state isn't in isolated quarantine just yet, but honestly, I'd rather be in fucking Syria right now because as it stands, they have the highest rates in testing and everything else available. And that's another thing. In terms of respirator and ventilator construction, they're calling on car companies. Now, this is complete bullshit. Listen to this. Obama did the same thing for the Ebola crisis. All right? But Trump said it was a shitty move. Okay? And you're pulling the same, quote-unquote, shitty move now. You know what I'm saying? You're pulling the same move that you criticized Obama for. In fact, you know what? While we're on criticisms here, now, they recently said that anyone, no one is allowed to profit off of this crisis. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, like I mentioned, Donald Trump Jr., you're fucked. Because you boosted your father's campaign in the middle of a crisis. I would rather see you arrested. And not only that, he himself is even campaigning over his own, uh, to help his own deals. And airlines, he's more so worried about the airlines who already get a shit ton of money, which they wasted buying back their own shares? Wow. Which they wasted. Fucking buying back their own shares. Like, what? What? And th that's, that's fucked up. Because like I've been telling many people, if I were rich or if I were president of the United States, the very first order of business that I would be doing is getting funds set aside for an emergency crisis like this. Because I know, common knowledge, every four years there's a play. Every four years, there's a fucking plague. And if you don't know that, then you're the ones living under a rock. Because, seriously, who doesn't know that? I mean, come on now. Just like how I just got off the phone with my mom. And I told her, I said, I wouldn't even send a child into this world right now due to this economic crisis. Call it a recession, which some people call it. Call it a, um, fuck. Call it a, a depression. There's another word that I'm trying to think of. Let's see, I've covered recession, depression, Okay, I'm just going to go with the word crisis, all right? Since it's the most likely word that I am most comfortable using is the word crisis. Um, yeah. This pandemic is really fucking a lot of people over. And the CDC, one of the heads of the CDC got in trouble by a lawmaker. She's like... 
well, instead of using an American-made test that may or may not work, why didn't you seek out tests from China? Why didn't you seek out tests from other countries? You know, we could have been like a Syria deal right now if you had sought things out and actually did your fucking job. You know, she straight up, she let him have it just like I would have. So she pulled a me. Good on her for pulling a me. Because that's the exact fucking thing I would have done. But yeah, main thing I wanted to cover was, yes, I wanted to get all of that off my chest because I'm severely pissed about a lot of it. And I also wanted to cover uh, that I got some more clarification on the income that's supposed to be coming in for all of us very soon, hopefully in the next two weeks, according to the president and according to Mike Pence. Um, uh, One of the mayors even said, you know, I think it was Bill de Blasio, don't quote me on this, but they said that, uh, I don't think quarantining a country is a good idea right now. No, you need to, no, 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 all right? They're like a quarantine, or a country cannot quarantine itself. Well, fucking duh. Fucking duh. You have to pull the quarantine yourself. I mean, come on. You are an elected official that's supposed to do your job. Like I said, I don't remember which mayor it was. It was either Bill de Blasio or... No, it wasn't Bill de Blasio. It was uh, What's-His-Face from New York. It was the New York mayor. Um... If his name is Bill the Bla- Oh my god. I, I get so many people confused. Ah, oh, shit. But anyways, yeah. Until next time, I've been Riku Keyblade Master. Comment, rate, subscribe to become a Keyblade Wilder and Stassim as usual. And I'm sorry for this, but I really do not wish to go a day without keeping my public informed. And as for my condition, do not worry. I am actually getting a little better day by day, taking it day by day, and taking several measures like I have even self-quarantined myself. I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm only going out for essential, you know, travel or whatever, you know. Which, in my case, you know, I won't really need to go out much at all. But, um, uh, yeah. So, I just wanted to uh, let you guys know how everything was going with me as well. Like I said, you know, I am keeping very good at social distancing, I'm very, I'm keeping very good at, you know, sanitization, hygiene, and everything else. I may still be a little sick, but like I said, I am getting better day by day. Hopefully this bug will go away. I've had it for more than two months and it just needs to go away. This morning I woke up feeling like, I, I, this is, this is weird. This morning I woke up feeling like complete shit. And then afterwards, I, you know, after a few hours, I jumped in the shower and now I feel fine, but I always feel like complete crap afterwards, which is really annoying. But yes, I will definitely see you guys next time. Stay safe, my lovelies, and I will catch you in the next vid, whether it be a stream or a blog. See you next time. Love you.